Larry. Can I use your bathroom? One moment, please. Why are you talking to me? Isn't she there? I'm in the bathroom. What are you doing in the bathroom? Freaking out, Jeff. Freaking out. Larry, listen to me. Other side of that door is Mary Ann Dixon. Yeah. What does she look like? Oh, my Valhalla. She looks like Norse Heaven. I'm going in. You really have to flush the toilet three times now. Wow, it's, it's great to see you. You too. I hope my call wasn't too much out of the blue. No, I am one of our calls to each other bit anything else, right? <laughs> I guess you're right. How long have we known each other? 28 years, five months, and 18 days. I mean, roughly. I, I, I did the math last night. I just, okay, <sighs> well, it's been a long time. Yeah, it's been, it's been a long time. I hope you didn't mind coming over here first. I just thought we could both use a drink. Right? Sure. Two new beginnings. I need to, uh, you know. Jeff, it's me. How's it going? Not good. I overhugged. I told you to count to three. What, what, what did you count to? I don't know, like, like 15? Oh, boy. What? Never mind. What's done is done. Oh, crap. Just go be yourself. What? Actually, don't, don't, don't be yourself. Pretend you're the coolest man on the planet. Oh, uh, yeah, Larry Hagman. Okay, so J.R. Ewing. Yeah. What would J.R. do? J.R. would already be sleeping with her. Forget Larry Hagman. Just go back and remember she called you. Right. Right. I got this. Go get her. <clears throat> she called you. She called you. You didn't call her. You're the callee. She's the caller, right? She got your number, she called you, and here we are. Here we are. Okay? Are you okay? Yep. Sure. Yes. Cool. I'm t totally, totally cool. <clears throat> cool. Larry, I have something to tell you. I know. I thought you might. I mean, I figured it's been a long time. And I love you married. too. I was so worried. I thought this might be another missed opportunity, but Larry. this is a chance for us to finally Larry. get together. You Larry. and me forever. What? Awkward. Yeah. I, look, I, I wanted to tell you in person, not over the phone. I figured I'd have you over. We could be like hanging out like friends and. That explains the tapas. What? <sighs> tapas. Small plates. You suggested it for dinner. I thought it meant like, you know, s small steps, a, a new beginning. But really, it just means low expectations, no commitment, and I'm an idiot! <sighs> don't say that. You're not an idiot. I don't know about the tapas thing, but. Look, Larry, are you okay? I figured this would be happy news, you know, considering you're married anyway. 
She left you? It was a forced departure. Why? I don't know. I mean, she just figured out she could do better. Don't say that. She's an idiot. Really? Because right now, I'm the one that feels like an idiot. This is supposed to be my salad days, cruising towards retirement, enjoying my family. But you know what? My life is empty now, except for a dead-end job and Jeff. Then change it. Change what? Everything. Look, Larry, I'm sorry we have horrible timing, but I would have just been an out anyway. I, I, I'm cool with that. You need to figure out what you want and go do it. You are smart and funny and you have a big heart. Okay, so what if somebody stepped on it? Or a few people stepped on it? Doesn't mean you're done. Life goes on and so will you. You know, I'm glad that you and Jeff are still friends. I bet he, you know, still needs you. I'm sure he's divorced by now too, right? No, I'm still married. Really? I'm shocked. Now tell me about it. Look, Mariana, I wish you luck, even though it's not with me. Thank you. Hey, you want to come to the wedding? I can hook up with some hot bridesmaid action. No, even the promise of sex wouldn't dull the pain of seeing you get married. That bad? You have no idea. Yeah. Let's sip it this time. Tell me what happened. Did you see it coming? Oh, I had no clue, but um, looking back here, there's a few clues.